is the fifth chapter on number so till the last video i have explained uh, up to the divisibility rule for 3 and now onwards i will explain further digits so the topic was the same divisibility rule so i have ended on the last video up to 3 now divisibility of by 4 it can be detected if the number is the last two digit last two digit is divisible by 4 that means if I get something for 68 so it would be divisible by 4 if I concentrate on this number or something 6 7 6 8 let's say I am to uh, see it so if this last two digit is divisible by 4 then the number is divisible by 4 so next comes divisibility by 5 it is very easy if last digit is 0 or 5 then only the uh, number is divisible by 5 next comes your divisibility by 6 here it is combination of if because 6 you know 2 into 3 so if the number is divisible by 2 and 3 if this both rule you apply on the number that divisibility rule of 2 is if the last digit is 2 uh, 0 2 4 8 this will divisible by 2 that will follow and the same time divisibility rule of 3 means if add up the numbers if it is divisible by 3 then the number is divisible by uh, the total number is divisible by 3 so if the two uh, uh, the condition uh, fulfills then only the number is divisible by 6 here comes divisibility of 7 so this is a quite different now what i will do i will take the rest of the number except last digit so I'll, let's say the number is 745 uh, 748 let's say now i will keep this part only in the first position minus we have to multiply the last digit with 2 that means i will keep 74 minus 2 into 8 this will be the calculation if this the result if this result is divisible by 7 or the result comes 0 if the result comes 0 then the whole number is divisible by 7 so just keep it in mind if the number is given like this then what you have to do you keep the rest of the number except the last digit minus 2 into the last digit whatever the result will come if that is divisible by 7 then the number is divisible the whole number is divisible by 7 or otherwise if the difference comes 0 also then also the number is divisible by 7 next comes the divisibility by 8 here if the last three digit is divisible by 8 okay then the number is divisible by 8 but the limitation is that limitation as in case of 4 also the limitation was there 
where the uh, number is divisible by 4 only if the last two digit is divisible by 4 but that case only the number have to be 3 or more digit so that I forget to tell you but for 4 the number should be 3 or more digit number for lesser you have to uh, check it with a real uh, divisible uh, property by dividing really not that any rule you will follow you have to check it by practical division but in case of three and more digit that rule applies for four and the same thing will apply for eight where the last three digit if it is divisible by eight the number would be divisible limit is in that the number should be four more than four digit number okay so this is the limitation for lesser you have to check practically by dividing with 8 or the second thing is that the last two last three digit comes triple zero then also it is divisible by 8 this is two condition if last three digit is divisible by 8 then you can say the number is divisible by 8 or the last three digit comes triple zero then also it is divisible by 8 same as for 4 I have said the last two digit is divisible by 4 or in this case also the last two digit if it is 0 0 then also the number is divisible by 4 that I uh, forget so here one thing so divisible by 4 is last two digit if last two digit last two digit has to be divisible by 4 or 0 0 and limitation is, is more than three digit okay so this is the rule for this so next comes your divisibility by nine where it rule follows similarly as three where the sum of sum of the digits divisible divisible by 9 then only the number is divisible by 9 okay so this is the rule and divisibility of 10 it is very easy if last digit is 0 then only it is divisible by 0 uh, 10 okay the divisible by 10 now divisibility of 11 divisibility of 11 is the same way as uh, 7 but you have to remember the rest of the number except last digit okay and then you have to add four times of last digit okay no this I'm sorry I mistaken so much this is not the uh, divisibility of 11 has to be uh, sorry uh, the sum of the number and the sum of the digits sorry the sum of the digits in odd places sorry odd places from right hand side minus even places from same places from that right hand side if it is divisible by if it is the result divisible by 11 then we can say it is divisible by 11 if that means if I take any number 1 2 3 4 5 for the sake of example I am saying so you have to add the odd places from right hand side then 5 plus 3 plus 1 that means equal to uh, 9 minus the even places 4 and 2 see now if the result here it is coming 3 but if the result comes which is divisible by 11 that means 11 or 11 multiple then we can say the number is divisible by 11 or divisible by 11 or if the result comes 0 
then also we can say the number is divisible by 11 so this is the rule just uh, let me rem uh, just uh, again uh, say it again if some of the numbers if the any digit is given then you have to add the uh, odd places number from the right hand side then you have to deduct the even places number some of the even places number from that if the result is divisible by 11 then we can say that the whole number is divisible by 11 or otherwise if the if that difference comes is 0 then also we can say the number is divisible by 11 so next comes divisibility by 13 divisibility by 13 here the rule follows rest of the number except last digit minus four times sorry plus four times of last digit if this result is divisible by 13 then we can say the number is divisible by 13 or if the result comes 0 also then we can say the uh, uh, that number is divisible by 13 okay uh, let's say for a small example one if i take this one so if i take 16 leaving the rest of the number into plus 4 into 9 so that means what it gives 36 if we add up to 52 now see 52 by 13 is 4 so this result is divisible by 13 so that whole number if i take the whole number if we check it so it is divisible by 13 okay so this work the rule follows okay the next digit is divisibility by 17 okay so divisibility 17 follows the same way the rest of the number except last digit here you have to deduct five times of the last digit okay if the number is divisible by 17 or 0 in both case you can say the number is divisible by 17 now let take the example of 189 so as per the rule it is 18 minus 18 minus 5 into so you have to reverse it because 5 times so as per the rules you can change if it is lesser then you have to take the opposite this this sign you have to logically you have to see it whether if it is high or so in that case 5 minus 1 so that means how much it is coming 45 uh, 18 so this is 7 and this is 2 now see if it is uh, divisible by 17 no so i will take some which is divisible by 7289 if i take so 28 so in that case also it is minus so 45 minus 28 it gives how much 7 1 uh, it is definitely divisible by 17 now see 289 by 17 is equal to 17 it is the square of 289 so i am taking some example which is known to you so it will follow so that means i can say if i change the rule 5 times of the last digit minus the rest of the number it will follow the rule okay so the next comes the divisibility by 19 in this case the rule follows is rest of the number except last minus 2 into last digit if it is divisible the result divisible by 19 or the result is 0 then the number is divisible let me check see 1919 is how much it is coming 1919 uh, 9 9 1 8 9 17 9 1 1 160 okay so if i take the number 361 and apply for uh, this rule then rest of the number is 36 minus 2 into 1 
so that means this comes uh, is equal to 34 uh, 361 19 cross 19 how much it is for 9 9 is a 81 17 9 1 1 6 3 361 minus 2 into 1 sorry it will be plus I'm making this thing so the rule says rest of the number plus two digits so two will follow the uh, the rule so that means it is 39 th uh, sorry 38 30 is divisible by 19 so the rule says the rest of the number except last digit a plus 2 into the last digit and if the uh, number is divisible by 19 or 0 then the rule follows okay so this uh, up to the uh, divisibility rule on some number so uh, this is for now and in the next video I will uh, wind up uh, the last chapter with the remaining uh, topics on numbers. So thank you for now. Bye bye.